<laughs> this lady I met properly for the first time about four weeks ago. Mm. Uh, I fell in love with you. We I... did. We ha we 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 have we have a love affair now because we we actually met online, sort of, during this COVID. That's really weird. That no, <laughs> no, no, we didn't. No, not in that way. But we we were both moving on to a more serious topic, but something that you're absolutely passionate about. We we got talking during COVID because because Ruthie's mum, Gloria, and my dad, Vin, my dad was in the hospital and and uh, Gloria was in their care home, and we were both fighting for the right to see them. And I think your mum went nearly a year without you being able to see her. 24-7 mm. in a room on her own, even when it had opened up for everybody else in society. And I think one of the hardest things, and, and, and I'm fighting for this glorious law still, because what I don't think people realise is that the care homes have got all the power. So, and it will be us at mm. some point, uh, our loved ones or us that will need to go into a home, um, I would go to Dignitas, I'm sorry, but mm. anyway. Um, but what's so the you're point to change the law? The law? Yeah, sorry. sorry the, the law would mean that you are entitled to one essential caregiver in every Any situation. Care se setting. Um, so, therefore, if they close the doors, which I have to tell you, some still are, if one person gets COVID, they're shutting the doors. Wow. So, therefore, family can't get in. How do you know what's going on? Mm. How do you know how your loved one is? It was mm. the most heartbreaking time. Luckily, we both were able at the very end to be with, with our mum and dad respectively, but, but there were many people, as we know, who weren't. Mm. And I, those people died an incredibly lonely death and that should never happen to anybody. Mm. I think, for me, one of the hardest things was my, my mother was not perfect. She was quite a difficult woman. She was... Um, she suffered from depression. She was... Um, uh, she had drinking problems. And when she got dementia, she was one of the... If you can be lucky with dementia, she... Everything that had that she'd worn as she went through, like, she lost her first child, she lost her eldest child from suicide, you know, it was kind of... She wore all these things, and as she got older, she got more and more negative. Um, and then this hit her, and it all dropped away. Mm -hmm. And it was like she was the woman that God intended her to be. She mm. was getting a kick out and of her And you had life. the mum you'd always wanted oh, for the last few goodness. years. Oh, my goodness. She, I would say to her, Mum, oh, do you remember when you did this or did that? And she'd say, oh, I'm so sorry. Oh. I'm so sorry. Why are you laughing at that? Mm. Please, will you forgive me? There was so much healing going on and she'd got such a kick out of life. And then to see her... To see her and have to wave at her through a window... Oh. When this woman... was In four months, she went from... Uh, walking and talking to not being able to walk, talk. She was just in a chair. That was four months of being on her own. Now, this cannot go on. No. And if we have another pandemic or yeah. some other reason, I've the care homes will shut up shop. I've mm. got a card here. A Department of Health and Social Care spokesperson said, our guidance clearly states that residents in care homes should be able to have at least one visitor in all situations. We urge all care homes and providers to follow the guidance and ensure they are facilitating these visits, which play a crucial role in the well-being and care of patients and residents. And we are reviewing options to improve visiting for care home residents and will update in due course. It's not really saying anything. No, it's not. And, and it's you know what? It's a them. postcode lottery. Mm. Yeah. It depends on the mm. manager, the umbrella. Same in the hospitals, it was. Yeah. Same. Yeah. There was a lady with dementia who went into hospital, and this is during COVID, mm. And she'd broken a hand, and the doctor sent her home saying, uh, you've got dementia, what do you need your left hand for? Mm. Wow. So, and if she'd have had somebody with her, things yeah. would have been different. Yeah. Yeah. So, it's just being able to have that one person. Yeah. Mm. Please, please, please. Well, and I so will many people up. of support are supporting this glorious mm. law, aren't they? Absolutely. Yes. Because mm. we can never go through that again. No. Never, never, never. <laughs> oh. Spoken about just now, um, our website has lots of helplines you can look at, including support for grief. Ruthie, thank you so much Pleasure. for coming on. And um, good luck with 17th of May. <laughs>